What is out there, buddy? I know it's been a long time, but I'm back. And I'm here to... Not only... Speak the truth... About everything going on. But also to to see new covers for you guys that I've actually been learning how to do. So we're just gonna jump right into it and yeah. Oh, let's get it. This first one is a brand new cover on this channel, so hope y'all enjoy. Also, if you guys are right to tell me. My cash up is done with them, so let's get it. Some of y'all might recognize this. <laughs> oh man. I love how you trolls thing, man. Like, you guys actually think you got me? <laughs> oh, you guys have no idea what's coming your way. Which is why I can't wait. Bro. It's funny how you guys think you got me. <laughs> oh, this is just the beginning of the end for you trolls. In the very beginning of my new life. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so good to take my life back. You guys have no idea what's coming your way. <laughs> uh, it's going to be good. Oh, it's going to be good. Uh, you guys just have no idea what's going to hit your asses. <laughs> but I do. Uh, Shout out to everybody that's been showing love and support for me, man. Fucking appreciate you guys, man. Every last one of you, man. I appreciate the fuck out of y'all, man. Ah, here's an old school one for you guys. I'm not the one who's so far away. Right now, feel the snake bite into my being. I don't remember. Ah, crap. Hold up, y'all. One second. Sorry, y'all. Reply no message here. I'm so far away.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yell. Uh, I haven't done this thing in a while. I wanted to get this to all my friends that are still behind me, man. Love you guys. I know, uh, this is going to be the last one for now, because I have so many that I need to be talk to about some shit, so... Now, before I go, I want to say something right quick. This core battle that I'm going through, <laughs> this shit ain't just about me. This battle that I'm going through... It's for everybody that y'all motherfucking trolls have victimized over the years. It ain't just about me. I'm doing this for everybody. So they ain't gotta suffer the same way I did. This core fight isn't just about me. This isn't just about aware of myself. This is about everybody that has ever fucked with me. And I can promise you, come hell or high water, I don't care how long it takes... I'm going to fight, and I'm going to win this fucking core battle, no matter what. Because I have the drive, I have the evidence, and I have everything ready to fucking go. And I'm not backing down. I don't care how long I have to fight. I don't care how many times I have to go to court. I am going to fight this until I'm dead in the ground. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. But I'm going to fight this, and I'm going to fucking win. I'm not backing down. And all y'all trolls can go fuck yourselves. But to all my fans and my supporters, fucking love you guys. All my friends, what up? And with that being said, I'm out, y'all. Peace. Hashtag, fuck the trolls. Alright, what's up y'all? I don't think this video needs any explanation. But before I get into what I say I'm about to say and you know, start pissing certain people off. 
First off, before I get into that, to White Bowser, I want to say that I'm sorry, man. I saw your post last night, dude, and I'm sorry about what they did to you, bro. You don't deserve that. No one does. And I want you to know that if you ever need a real friend, somebody who's actually going to be there for you, that actually has your back, let me know. I've got your back. I'll be your friend. Because no one deserves to get bullied to the point like you got bullied to, man. <laughs> I've been there, man. I was there two years ago where exactly you're at now. And I want you to know that you're not alone, dude. I've been there, I've gone through that, man, and it's not easy. And honestly, bro, I wish you all the best on getting better, man, and I hope that you do get better, and I hope you do better for yourself. I really do. I hope and pray to God that you get well. And I hope that you're able to mentally do better with yourself overall man and I hope to God that you make a quick recovery from all this and but as for you fucking trolls you guys are seriously pieces of fucking shit every one of you is a piece of fucking trash I mean, you guys sit there and bully people for what? To make fun of them? To harass them? To get views? Monetization? You guys are sick fucks that don't even deserve to breathe the same air. I mean, it's funny. You guys talk about what people like me do is wrong. Or what I supposedly did is wrong. Why don't you take a look at the goddamn fucking mirror, you fucking assholes? Because of you guys, White Bowser almost took his own life. And two years ago, you guys almost caused me to do the same damn thing. I mean, what's so funny about pushing someone to fucking suicide? Huh? What's so fucking funny about that shit? There ain't nothing funny about that. I don't mean, yeah, I've said and done a lot of shit that I'm not proud of. But let me tell you right now. You motherfuckers caused all that shit. All the rage outs where I said shit that was out of line, where I did shit that was out of line, you guys fucking caused that. Just like you guys caused White Bowser to almost take his own life. It's bullshit. And it needs to fucking stop. I'm not pissed off for myself. I'm pissed off for other people that you guys have pushed to fucking suicide like White Bowser. Those people didn't do shit wrong. But yet, yeah, what do you do? You push them and fucking push them. For money, clicks, and views. And it's bullshit. It's fucking wrong, dude. It's fucked up. You know what's really fucked up, though? That you son of a bitch slime balls put me in this fucking position that I'm in right now. Where I have to go to court. Where my family now has to pay money. Out the ass that we ain't got just so I can defend myself and show that I'm fucking innocent in all this. 
You know what's funny? You guys claim to be innocent, but none of you are. Marty, William Goyhole, Mastro Mafia, CBG, Aware of Myself, Metal Gear Rax, Base Shaman, Juggalo972, none of you motherfuckers are innocent. At all. I mean, let's face it. You guys are the reason that I got shot at and I was killed. You guys are the reason that I got fucking assaulted. And you guys are the reason I'm currently in court. And it's bullshit. And yeah, I'm pissed. You guys fucking pushed a person to fucking suicide. And y'all sit there and laugh like it's a fucking joke. It's fucking disgusting. I mean, who the fuck died and made y'all motherfuckers God? Huh? Who died and made you God? No one. What you guys do is wrong, disgusting, vile, and fucked up on every human level. I mean, you expect people to show you respect, but yet you don't respect anyone enough to not fuck them when they say to leave them alone. Why? Because you all are a piece of fucking shit. Every last one of you is garbage. And that's why when I fight this fucking case, I'm not just fighting this for myself. I'm fighting this for people like White Bowser, who you guys have pushed to suicide. For those like him, Suplex City Vlogs. Heather Colonna, Tony the Black Dragon Lord, Chris Chan, all those that you guys have fucking victimized. I'm doing this for them. I'm fighting for them. Not just myself. I'm fighting for them on their behalf. Because someone needs to step up and say something. And guess what? That someone is me. Like I said, I admit that I've done shit that ain't cool. In the way I've acted and how I've reacted the way you guys have done to me. I admit that. But you know what? There comes a point where someone's had enough. And when that person's had enough, they're going to say and do shit that ain't normally them. But you know what's even more fucked up? The fact that you guys get a kick out of watching someone rage out. The fact that you guys get a kick out of pushing someone to fucking suicide. So yeah, I'd say I'm not only angry. I'd say I'm not mad. I'm beyond fucking pissed off. Because what you guys do ain't right. And it needs to fucking stop. You guys have stolen from me. You guys have stolen shit off our porch. You guys have egged our house. You guys have tried to shoot at me and kill me. You guys have assaulted me. And you guys expect me to be quiet about that? Nah. Fuck you. I'm not being quiet. Like I said, this court battle ain't just about myself. And what you guys pushed me to and made me do. This is about everybody that you guys are fucking victimized. And I can guarantee you, come hell or high water, rain, snow, hell, the end of the earth could be happening. 
And I'm still going to sit in that courtroom. And I'm still going to sit there and fight for those people like myself. And tell the truth about how you motherfuckers really are. And show the whole world how whenever somebody stands up for me or one of those people that I mentioned, you guys target those people. Why? Because you don't want your victims people standing up for them because you guys are a bunch of pussies you're afraid you don't want anybody to fight back so what do you do anybody that stands up for me or defends me what do you do you make them a fucking target because you're a bunch of fucking idiotic no talent having scumbag fucking losers that want to bully that's all you want to do is bully people. And it's fucked up. So like I said, I don't care how many times I have to go to court. I don't care how long I have to fight this for a month, a year, two years, the rest of my life. I don't fucking care. I will fight this until you guys are behind fucking bars. And get what you guys deserve. I am going to fight this. Come hell or high water. And I'm not giving up. So any of you fucking trolls. Have a fucking problem with it. Ask me if I give a fuck. Because I don't. I'm tired of sitting here. And watching you guys fucking bully people. Day in and day out. Day in and day out. And getting away with it. I'm sick of it. Every single one of you deserves to be behind bars. Because all you guys do is bully people. And you attack people. And you harass them. Until they either end up dead in jail or in a psych ward and unfortunately when they end up dead 99.9% of the time it's usually because they've taken their own fucking lives I was almost one of those people two years ago and White Bowser was almost one of those people last night And I can't even imagine how many people you guys have pushed suicide that have actually taken their own life. I can't even begin to fathom the amount of people that have done that because of you guys. But like I said, this court battle ain't about me. It's about those that you guys have fucking pushed to the edge. Those that you guys have fucking victimized and bullied. And like I said, if you have a problem with what I'm saying, I don't give a fuck. No one deserves to be pushed to the edge of suicide. No one deserves to be victimized. No one deserves to be fucking bullied. So like I said, if you have a fucking goddamn problem with what I said, if any of you fucking trolls have a goddamn problem with that, I just have one thing to say. I don't fucking care. I'm standing up for those that deserve it. Those that you guys have victimized. So to all you trolls out there, I say this. You're a bunch of scumbag assholes. That's all you ever have been. That's all you ever are. And that's all you ever will be. Is a bunch of low life scumbag losers. Going nowhere in life. So to all you trolls. I say this. Fuck you. Stop fucking with people and back the fuck off.
you know, I was laying down in bed and I felt like I needed to make this video. To better explain to you fucking trolls just what it is that you did to me. When you guys decided to attack me and harass me. You didn't just put me down. You didn't just spread rumors and lies about me. You know what you did? You ruined a career that I had built over 10 years. A racing career that I was slowly building. Something that I could be proud of. A legacy that my older brother left behind for me to carry on. I started racing because of my brother. He's the whole reason why I started racing. I set the world record on Need for Speed Underground 2 about 5 to 6 years ago. And that video footage is what put me on the radar of people to watch out for as far as setting records go. That put me on the radar of some of the pro gamers out there and some of the record setters. So what did I do? I continued that legacy on. I continued that whole thing going. And then I got into Forza Horizon 4 in 2018. And from there, that's when my true career in racing took off. I began getting better and better and better. Every day. Working my ass off. Day in and day out. Busting my ass. And then I got to the point to where I went up against some of the best like Slap Train and several other people that I looked up to. And then over the last couple of years, I started to go pro. I started to get sponsors on Twitch for racing, doing comps, doing drift comps, doing rally events. Doing my own thing, building a career that I could be fucking proud of. And then what you guys do? You guys ripped it all away from me in a matter of fucking, in a matter of minutes. Do you guys even realize that I have not raced once this whole fucking year because of you guys? Because of y'all, I've not been able to get. I've not been able to get behind the wheel at all this year. Because no company wants anything to do with me because of all the lies that you guys have fucking spread about me. And it's really affected my career. Not just with racing, but with music also. Because of you guys, the label I was on fucking dropped me. Every time I go to make some sort of money, you guys rip it away from me. And that's not right. You know, you guys think you know what hard work is. You don't know what hard work is until you're sitting there beating yourself up when you, win, when you lose just one race. You beat yourself up wondering, what could I have done better? You don't know what it's like to put in the blood, the sweat, the tears that I've fucking put into everything I've ever done. All the hours of watching hundreds and hundreds of videos on how to get better, how to properly tune your car, how to do this, how to do that, how to properly hold an angle while doing a drift. How to properly initiate a drift on a proper sim rig. How to actually fucking do shit. 
and constantly getting better. Y'all really don't understand that. This whole year I've been sitting here depressed as fuck. Because of you guys. Every one of you. Has now made it to where. When this is all said and done. I'm going to have to work my ass off. From the ground up once again. Y'all don't understand the hard work that it takes to compete on a high performance level like I have. You guys don't understand the amount of time and hard work that it takes. You guys don't know what it's like to carry on a legacy that somebody left behind for you to carry on. You guys don't know what that's like because you guys have never had to fucking deal with that shit. But I have. Every single day I think about my older brother and the legacy that he left behind for me to carry on. But yet, I'm not allowed to carry on that legacy because of you guys. Y'all really don't understand. This whole racing thing for me, it ain't just a fad. It ain't just a career. It's my fucking life. It's everything I've ever known my whole life. All I've ever known my whole life is racing. Everything from watching NASCAR on TV as a kid, to the Fast and Furious films, and then to actually getting into actually doing it. Racing's in my fucking blood. It's who I am. It's what I do. And what I want to know... What I want to fucking know is where do you asshole trolls think that it's right for you to do what you fucking do to me? Rip everything away from me that I've built up. Why? Why rip away everything I've built up? What, just so you can get a few cheap fucking laughs? Is that it? Is that why you do it? To get a few fucking cheap ass fucking laughs? You guys really don't understand the hard work. You guys don't understand. Every time I get behind the wheel and I'm competing and I'm doing my thing and whether it be me having fun with my team, drifting around on different tracks, whether it be competing, You guys don't know how often I think about my older brother. Why do you think I'm so fucking proud to represent the number 23 on all my cars? Why do you think the number 23 means so fucking much to me? It isn't just another number. No. That's my brother's birthday. January 23rd. So when I put the number 23 on all my cars, that's not just me putting a random number on, no. That's me showing that I'm proud to carry on my brother's legacy.
that shows that I want to carry on his fucking legacy, and I still want to do that. I just wish you fucking trolls would leave me the fuck alone. And stop all these bullshit ass lies that y'all know ain't fucking true. Racing's all I've ever known. It's what I love. It's my passion. It's what I've worked my ass off to build into a career. And like I said, I had a career on Twitch, competing on a pro level with sponsors, doing good for myself. But yeah, what happened? You guys sat there and you fucking ripped it away from me. All for some cheap fucking laughs. You guys are fucking pathetic. You know, I would love to see you guys put in the hard work that I put in. Because I know damn well none of you motherfuckers have got the goddamn balls to do it. You know, just yesterday I was digging through an old email address. And you want to know what I saw? Over 20 plus sponsors. Fucking turning me down. Because of the lies and the rumors that you guys have spread about me. Sponsors turning me down. Companies that I was sponsored with letting me go. All because of the fucking rumors that you guys have spread about me. And you guys really don't understand how hard I worked to get those sponsors. The hours I put in. The hard work that I did. All the training, all the practicing. The, the sleepless days, the sleepless weeks. Going one to two hours a week on sleep. Busting my ass. You guys really just don't understand what it takes to be a professional driver. And quite honestly, I don't think any of you ever fucking will. And you know, and it fucking kills me because I want to race. I want to compete so bad. But I'm not allowed to because of you stupid ass fucking trolls doing what you do to me. Every time I make some sort of money doing something I'm actually good at, you guys rip it all away from me. And then you sit there and go, ha 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 ha. We took something away from you. No, we believe you're this so you're not allowed to make money. And it's fucked up. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve to be ridiculed. I don't deserve to be bullied. I don't deserve to be harassed. If anything, I deserve to be left alone. And I deserve to be able to do whatever the fuck I want to do with my life. Whether that be Twitch, whether that be YouTube, whatever it is. I deserve to make a living doing what I want to do. I shouldn't have to bow down to a bunch of fucking pussy ass fucking trolls. And that's why I'm gonna fight this shit. And believe me when I say come hell or high water, I'm gonna take my fucking career back that you guys have stole from me. And I'm gonna make that climb again. And this time you motherfuckers ain't gonna stop me.
What's up, everyone? I know that it's super early in the morning, probably later for some of you guys that are now watching this. But, I'm making this video because I need help. For those of you that don't know, I've been the target and the victim of cyberbullying and police neglect over the last five years. The last five years, I have been neglected by the cops every time my family tries to reach out for help. This guy named Music Biz Marty and William Glory Hole and all his friends and all their little buddies and including newer people like CBG aka Cyrax Video Games. Um, Metal Gear Rex and just so many different people have been harassing me bullying me and it's gotten really really fucking bad to where I'm in fear for my life every day The reason I'm making this video is because I need someone to please help me to get an outside police source to investigate the police here. Because the police here have blatantly mocked me, poked fun at me, and harassed me. And done all kinds of things to harass myself and my family. I've been shot at. I've been assaulted. But yet, no one does anything. But yet, the one time I fight back, I get wrongfully arrested. For protecting myself and my family. I can honestly say that I know a lot of you trolls are going to be watching this too and that's fine but you trolls you just you know you guys just don't understand the amount of fear that you have me living in and my family living in every day I'm in fear for my life every fucking day of the week. From the time I get up to the time I go to bed, I'm always scared. Always afraid for my life. Always afraid for my family. And you guys sit there and say that I'm fake crying, but let me tell you something. I've cried so much that it's hard for me to even produce tears anymore. I literally have to put eye drops in my eyes now as a result. Because I've cried so much that I have no tears left, essentially. And it fucking sucks. Because you guys don't know how many times I have lied awake at night, bawling my eyes out, scared. Not knowing what to do, not knowing if I'm going to live to see the next day, not knowing if someone's going to try to shoot at me or hurt me again. You know, you trolls leaving me in prison in my own home is jail enough. I don't need jail. Because you guys leave me in my own home is jail enough. That's imprisonment enough. And for you Akron PD scumbags, I want to know something. Why the fuck didn't you guys do anything when my family reached out to help over 113 times this year? Over 113 times. Alone this year, my family has screamed and cried and pleaded and begged for your help. 
But what did you do? Sat there and mocked us. Blamed me for shit that I didn't do. Openly held to the fucking trolls to harass me. You didn't do a damn thing to help. When I got shot at, you guys blatantly refused to take the bullet out of the mattress and try to match it up. I get assaulted. You guys don't do shit. You don't allow me to press charges on the motherfucker that assaulted me. But the one fucking time that I fight back, when someone steps onto my fucking property and I defend myself and my family and protect us from danger, what do you do? You fucking arrest me, which is bullshit, and you fucking know it. Some of you motherfuckers are the trolls. Some of you cops are the fucking trolls. And you know it. You know, you... You Akron PD scumbags, you sit there and say like, Oh, you started. You, you're at fault. Am I really? Who's really at fault here? Huh? Ask yourselves, who's really at fault here? Is it me? Or is it you motherfuckers for not doing anything? I think the answer is pretty fucking clear. I get death threats to my house every fucking day. I get threatened to be killed if I go to jail. I get threatened with death threats every day. Whether it's me going to jail or not, which we already know I'm not going to jail. That's not going to happen. Me going to jail ain't going to fucking happen. I'm going to make damn sure of that. But what's fucked up and funny to me is the reason the reason why I know you cops are involved in my harassment and involved with the trolls is this. You guys are turning a blind eye to what William Gloryhole is doing by posting up these body cam footages that he's not allowed to do. Yes, it's freedom of request, but you are not allowed to use that footage for malicious intent, which is what William Glory Hole was doing. At second off, it's pretty funny, don't you think? How you trolls, how your little troll buddies can sit there and tell me to get off the internet, get off the internet. And yet, what do you guys do? The same thing, telling me to get off the internet. Coincidence? I don't fucking think so. That ain't a fucking coincidence. I mean, why is it that you're so quick to arrest me, but you're not so quick to arrest the people that try to harm me and my family? Why is that? Huh? Why is that? These people push me, antagonize me, harass me, put my family in danger. Every day. But yet the one time I fight back, I get arrested? Really? I didn't even hit the motherfucker. He caught the bat with his bare hands. But yet I'm the one to get arrested? That's fucking bullshit, and you fucking all know it. So yeah, Akron PD, I am calling you guys out. Because none of you did a damn thing to help my family. When we screamed for help, you ignored us. You illegally labeled me and my family as 43s.
when we're not crazy. You tell me to get off the internet? I got off the internet several times for six months at a time, and guess what? They took it from the internet to real fucking goddamn life. They took it to real life by trying to shoot at me and kill me. By assaulting me. By stealing shit from us. By throwing eggs at our house. By posting up slanderous signs about me that ain't fucking true. By showing up to my fucking house. And putting my family's lives and my life in danger. But you don't care, do you? You cops don't fucking care. All you give a fuck about is this. Money. Because you're a bunch of greedy, selfish assholes that don't care about the people like you say you do. Because if you did care, then why did none of you do a damn thing to fucking help me? Why did you fail me? Why did you fail my family? Every one of you cops should be ashamed of yourselves for not helping. Every one of you should be ashamed. You clearly don't fucking understand shit, do you? You cops clearly don't understand what you guys did is wrong. Sitting there openly mocking me, blaming me for shit. No, it ain't gonna go down like that. And that's why I'm asking any of my friends that do see this. If any of you knows a police department that would be willing to work with me. Please do so. Please get in contact with me because I want to fight this. I want to show that I'm innocent and that I'm a victim. And that these cops did nothing to fucking help. These police did nothing but sit there and antagonize it. I need help, guys. If somebody out there knows somebody that can help me that's actually an actual police officer, or if any of you guys have friends that are police, like currently police, or has a connection to a police district, that can help me, please get me in contact with them. I need to talk to an outside source. Because this has got to stop. I have been living as a prisoner in my own home for almost five years. And I'm tired of living this way. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of living in fear and I'm tired of living as a prisoner in my own fucking home. Not being able to go outside. Not being able to do things that I used to do. I've been a prisoner in my own home for the last five years and I'm sick of it. So if anybody out there can please help me. Please do so. Get in contact with me right away because I want to fight this and I want to put a stop to this. Because I do have proof that the police are working with the trolls. And that the trolls have blatantly said that if I go to jail, I'm dead. And if I stay out of jail, they're going to do whatever they can to make my life a living hell and or kill me. So please, if anybody out there sees this, Please help me. Because I need help. Before the 24th. Because on the 24th, that's when my trial date is. If it goes to trial.
If it goes to trial, my trial date's on the 24th. I need help. I want to prove that I am a victim. I don't deserve this. I need help, guys. Please. Alright, y'all. So, there's no easy way for me to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. Until this court shit is done with, I'm leaving YouTube. Because I thought that maybe if I did covers and remixes of stuff that, you know, I would have, you know, something to keep me occupied, but no. Instead, I just keep getting bullied over and over and over and over relentlessly and I'm getting tired of it. Cops keep getting called to my house, and I'm sick of it. So, until then, I will not be posting on this channel anymore. Um, I'm just going to be doing gaming and hanging out with my friends outside of social media. You know, because I'm not going to sit here and be bullied like this over and over again. I'm not doing it. Because what you trolls have done to me, no one deserves. Ever. No one deserves that, so... I hate to say it, but... You guys need to move on and find something else to do. Because I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. And I'm tired of this. I have a life that I want to get back. And if I want to get that life back, then I have to make certain sacrifices. And, and until this court shit's done with, I'm sacrificing my channel. So, with that being said, to all my fans and supporters, I love you guys. But to everybody else that wants to be a troll and an asshole, I don't have a damn thing to say to you except fuck you. Peace. I'm very, very terrified. Because for the last five years, I've been bullied. I've been harassed. I've been shot at. I've been assaulted. My family's called the police over a hundred times this year, reaching out for help because I've been getting bullied. And the one time I fire back, I get arrested for protecting myself and my family from somebody who threatened my life. Somebody who threatened to come here and do harm to my family. And yet, I'm the one to get arrested. I know for a lot of you guys, I may seem calm on the outside. 
brownie in front. I'm a brownie man. I'm bowing my eyes out every day. Brownie in front. Because I know that I did nothing wrong, but yet I'm facing a potential jail time. A potential jail sentence is what I'm facing. I'm facing potentially up to six months if they, if they decide to convict me, even though I did nothing wrong. You know that person came here onto my property and harassed me and my family along with eight of our neighbors. I was the one that got arrested. I can honestly say that I'm tired of this bullying. I'm tired of being bullied. I'm tired of being harassed. My family's sick of it. I'm sick of it. Like, we're tired of it. I'm tired of crying myself to sleep every night. I'm tired of wondering if I'm going to get shot at again. I'm tired of wondering when the next person to try to do harm to me or my family is going to show up. I'm tired of the cops having to come here to waste their time because people want to make false calls against them about us and about me and my family. I'm tired of it. My family's tired of it. Yeah, everyone keeps telling me, you know, don't think about it, don't think about it. But how can I not think about it when my life is at risk? If I go to jail, I'm going to be missing out on a lot, a lot of important stuff. My birthday next month, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, things that I want to do with my family, things that I want to do with my friends. It's not fair. It's not fair that the people that have attacked me don't get arrested. But yet the one time I fight back, I get arrested. The one time I fight back in pure defense of myself and my family. Because this man came to my house after, after sending a message on Discord and one of the Discord servers that that he was going to pay me a visit he does that, he shows up here I protect my family but yet I'm the one to get arrested where is that fair? where is that right? where is that okay? And what I want to know is why is it that when I was shot at, the police didn't want to track the person down? Or when I was assaulted, why is it that the police didn't allow me to press charges against Marty? Why? I'm tired of living in fear every day. I'm tired of being scared. I'm tired of not being able to live the life that I used to have. Now every day I live in fear. Looking over my shoulder. Constantly looking out my window to see if somebody's out there at night. Not knowing if I'm going to get shot at again or not. 
always wondering if the next if the next knock on the door is the cops coming here to arrest me on some bullshit that I had nothing to do with. Always wondering if my family's gonna get hurt or not. I basically become a prisoner in my own home because of these trolls. And all these cyberbullies. I basically become a fucking prisoner in my own home. I can't go outside and do photography like I used to. I can't shoot films like I used to. I can't shoot music videos for my music like I used to. Hell, I can't even release any music anymore without it being stolen by William Gloriel. I can't do nothing. And it fucking kills me. The things I used to do, I can no longer do. Before all this, I used to be happy. I used to be smiling all the time, having fun, enjoying myself, and now I'm, I'm always depressed, always sleeping, barely talking to anybody, always being scared. I mean, it's gotten to the point where I can't even fucking show my face while I'm in the car. I literally have to lay down out of fear for my fucking life in case someone's fucking following me or my family. And this is no way to fucking live. This is no way to fucking live. Like I said, I want to cry tears, but I've done cry so many tears that I can't anymore. I literally have to have eye drops in my eyes every once in a while or run water through my eyes just to make sure that and it fucking kills me what kills me is the fact that these trolls and these cyber boys are being allowed to do this they're allowed to get away with this while people good people like me suffer and for what? Also they can garner views, clicks, and a few laughs. And maybe a donation or two. These people don't care about anybody. They don't care if someone gets hurt, if someone gets killed. All they care about are money, are clicks, views, and money, and that's it. They don't care about anyone's lives. They don't care who they hurt. They don't care who they affect. For the past month, I've done nothing but lay in my bed and bawl my eyes out. Scared, sick, worried, shitless. Not knowing what's going to happen. I've been so fucking sick for the past month since all this started. That I have literally gotten sick and puked several times. I have been that sick to the point where I've been throwing up almost daily. Because I'm so afraid of these internet trolls and these internet bullies. And I'm so afraid that I'm going to go to jail because of these fucking people. That are evil. And what's worse is my public defender refuses to look at the freaking evidence that I, sh that I wanted to share with them, which are on two USB sticks. Two USB sticks to show evidence that I'm innocent. And that I was bullied. And that I was, in that I was antagonized. But he blatantly refused to look at him.
I just wish to God that there was an outside source that my family could turn to that would help us. Because right now we have no help. We have no one to help us. We have no outside help from any other police sources, any other, you know, higher up sources, resources. We don't have that around here. We don't know any other police departments that would help us. We don't know any other FBI agencies that would help us. I just wish to fucking God that the I wish to God that no one would help. Cause I'm not a bad person and all you guys know that. I'm not a bad guy. I have been bullied and tormented for five years. All for views. That's all it's ever been about. Money and views. And I'll be honest, all I truly want at the end of the day is to get my life back that I lost, that was stolen away from me. I want to get the life back that I used to have, that was stolen from me. Every day I'm reliving a nightmare that I can't wake up from, and it's scary. I've got tons of evidence showing how evil these people are, but it's like no one wants to see it. No one wants to hear me out. No one in the legal system will fucking listen to me. No one wants to hear me out, because I was the guy that swung the bat. I was the guy that swung at somebody, but yet no one wants to hear my side of things or what ha or what really went down and what caused everything. And I'm tired of it. I just want someone to fucking hear me out and to be able to actually do something to help. I want somebody to help me so that I don't end up in jail. So that I can still be with my family. So that I can get my life back and get the help that I need to regain my life back that was stolen away from me. Five years ago, my life was stolen away by a guy named Music Biz Marty. And now my life hangs in the balance of the court. And I want to get it back. And I need help doing that. I need a lawyer or somebody higher up than the police that is willing to work with me. I can get names, I can get links, I can get, I got videos, I got all kinds of stuff. I literally have two 32 gig SD, like the USB sticks, full of evidence, packed full, 32 gigs of evidence on two USB sticks, pulled full to the brim of evidence, showing that I'm innocent, showing that I've been antagonized, showing the death threats, showing that I was set up. I just want someone to help me, please. I just want someone to help me to put a stop to this. Because what these people are doing isn't right. It's not okay. And it needs to stop. I need help.
What's up, y'all? This is the continuation from my last video. So, yeah. And also something I wanted to point out in my last video that I didn't get to point out is this. Marty, why are you such a fat piece of shit liar? I mean, you sit there and say that you didn't kill two prostitutes, that you didn't kill Jamie, but we all know you did, motherfucker. Otherwise, why would you sit there and ban people for speaking about it, bro? I'm sorry, but if you ask me, I truly feel like you did kill those people. I truly do believe that you did murder those prostitutes and that you did kill Jamie. Oh, by the way, Marty, just for the record, I do have factual evidence to show that Jamie never loved you. If anything, she fucking hated you. Do you know how many times me and Jamie spoke outside of YouTube? And how many times she sat right there and told me that she couldn't stand the shit that you do to people? And let's be honest. You are a fat slob. You are a piece of shit. I mean... You hire a maid to do work that you could clearly do yourself. I mean, Jesus, it's no wonder your fucking ex left you, bro. It's no wonder. You're a piece of shit. That's a slob. You live off of mommy and daddy's money like a bitch baby. You murdered three women. One of those people being a very close friend of mine who hated your guts who you murdered and you wonder why all your exes leave you it's because you're a psychopathic little bitch you're a fucking piece of shit Marty I mean what do you hide up in there man I mean look at that beard bro Man, look at that big ass fucking beard you got going on, bro. I mean, what do you do? You hide the fucking TV remote up in there, motherfucker. Your ass probably hides the whole ass fucking TV dinner up in that bitch. For all we know, all them planes that went missing over the years in the Bermuda Triangle, your ass probably went to the Bermuda Triangle, found that shit, and stuffed them in there for later on. That way, when your ass gets desperate and running out of money from fucking with people, you can get rich off that shit. I'm like, dude, look at you, man. You're so goddamn fat, you can't even see your own goddamn dick, bro. I mean, who are you trying to be? Omaga? I mean, the fuck, dude? What are you trying to be, Rikishi? A sumo wrestler? You trying to be Yokozuna? Alright, if so, bro. <laughs> Good fucking luck. With the way your ass smells, bro. Every wrestler up in there need a fucking hazmat suit just to wrestle your ass. Because your ass smells so goddamn bad. Your ass probably ain't taking a bath in a goddamn fucking year, fucker. I mean, look at you, man. You're short, you're fat, you're lazy, you're a fucking slob, you dress like shit, you hide goddamn TV dinners and TV remotes up in your goddamn beard, you hire fucking mates to do work that your dumb ass should be doing your damn self. So Marty, do yourself a favor. Stop being a lazy fucking pussy, bitch. Uh, what's up, y'all? This video is for CVG and Bed Smoker. First off, Bed Smoker, why are you using a dead guy's picture, bro? 
Like, why are you using his face to make a name for yourself? One, that's disrespectful to the dead. Two, that's fucked up. Three, you shouldn't be doing that. That's just immorally wrong. But, we all know why, why you do that. Because you're not as famous as that dude was. You're not as beloved as he was. Hell, you're not even as famous as I am. I mean, have you not checked the memo, bro? Like, I'm literally on fucking Michael Jackson fucking goddamn Elvis Presley level fame, bro. And that's the point that I'm at. And you guys are like fucking what? You guys are like a fucking failed Bam Margera. I mean, your life's just going downhill, Fed. You might want to fix that. And as for you, CBG, I know your weakness, bro. Just that little combo that we had. I can tell you right now what your weakness is. You know what your weakness is? The fact that your Discord is cringe as fuck. And you make these videos to try to compensate for your shitty, cringy Discord. I mean, you are who you hang out with, man. I mean, bro, like your Discord, I've seen your Discord, dude. It's cringy as fuck. And all you do is sit in there in your sister's underwear wondering, oh, how can I be, you know, this? How can I be as famous as this guy? How can I be as cool? Well, I can tell you how right now, motherfucker. Stop being cringy. That's rule number one. Two, stop being an asshole. Three, stop being a pedo supporter of Marty's and William Glory Holes. And four, stop being a fucking loser. Five. Hmm, five is actually fairly self-explanatory. And number five is called this. Get off the internet and get a real job like the rest of us here in the world. Okay? I mean, the only reason why you're doing what you're doing is because you want to try to be the next Marty. Well, sorry to say, bro, you're kind of failing at that. Like, you're just trying to do what Marty's already done a million times over. That's all it is, bro. You're trying to be another music biz Marty. That's all it is, bro. You're trying to be another fucking fatso, slop, ass, fucking dumb fuck on the internet thinking he's a badass. But really, you're nothing more than a cringy ass fucking teenage fuck boy who pretends to be a man, who pretends to be a badass. But really, bro, you're just a cringy ass second rate music biz Marty that's going nowhere with his life. While people like me are out here doing the right thing and doing what we need to do to get by, what are you doing, bro? Sitting on your ass talking about me all day? I mean, it's funny, bro. You say you're not a fan. You say you ain't a fanboy, but look at you. You got my picture as your profile picture. You're constantly making videos about me, bro, so... How are you not a fan? I mean, seriously, bro. How are you not a fan? Clearly you're a fanboy. I mean, if you weren't a fanboy, then why do you have my picture up as your profile pic? Why do you have my videos up and constantly watch them? We all know it ain't because of what you're trying to do. Admit it, bro. You're just like Marty, man. You're secretly gay for me. Admit it. That's why you watch all my videos, man. You're secretly fucking gay for me, bro. You're like fucking Johnny Gobble. I'm like motherfucking O-Church, bro. You ain't touching this. You're cringe as fuck. You're like Nicole Arbor, man. You're that fucking dumbass bitch that tries to sue everybody for no fucking reason or tries to gain fame for no reason at all except to be famous. I mean, all you're doing is riding on the back of my coattails, bro. That's all you're doing. I mean, you, you clearly want to be famous. But here's the problem. You're not good at anything, bro. 
You ain't a musician like me. You ain't a music artist like me. You ain't a gamer like me. You haven't done the shit that I've done, bro. You ain't put in that good ass hard work. The only thing you're good at is being fucking lazy. That's what you're good at. So, first off, you want to be famous, alright? I want to give you a few tips. Stop being lazy. Actually, get off your ass and try to do something. Instead of sitting there sparking your damn fucking shithole that you call a mouth. Stop fucking sparking your damn mouth. And acting like you're a tough guy because you ain't shit. You ain't ever been about shit. You ain't ever going to be about shit. Third off, stop making cringy ass videos. I mean, seriously, is it really that hard to not be cringy? Although I suppose for you that that might be an issue because, I mean, that's why you and CBG are twins. You're both cringy as fuck. See, both of your aunts, like, See, you see what it is. I finally figured it out. You and Fed Smoker are twins. You guys are twin brothers. And your mom and your aunt fucked each other. Oh, wait, I forgot. Never mind. They didn't fuck each other. I forgot. Oh, wait, no. No, no, I forgot. Your aunt fucked. I forgot. Fed Smokers and yours is aunt fucked. Y'all's mom because your aunt's a dyke. Your aunt fucked your mom. Which is how they got you two fucking failed ass science experiment looking weirdos. I mean, seriously, bro. I mean, it's no wonder you don't want to turn your camera on. You guys are probably fucking weird looking. Y'all probably look like Jada Hutt and E.T. had a fucking kid and came out with your ugly asses. For real. So... Like I said when I was on y'all stream, your best off keeping the fucking pictures up that y'all got up. Because, I mean, unlike y'all, I look good. I mean, I don't know about y'all, man. I mean, sh shit. I wouldn't want to be your photographer at no fucking wedding shoot. Your asses will probably break the goddamn camera just even glimpsing at it. That's why every time y'all go to a birthday party, y'all gotta have your fucking faces covered. With a fucking mask that can't break. Because y'all are that damn ugly. But hey, who am I to judge? But like I said, CVG. You ain't nothing but a carbon copy of fucking Marty. That's all you are. You're a carbon wannabe copy of Marty. And William Glory all put together. Oh wait, that's right, I forgot. I figured it out now. Music Biz Marty's your mom, and William Glory Hole is your daddy. I forgot. Or is it the other way around? I can never tell with those two. No, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Music Biz Marty's your mom, and William Glory Hole is your dad. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, I can't tell those two apart for nothing. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're both chicks. I'm pretty sure, but who am I to judge? But like I said, man, CBG. You're just a failed wannabe Marty. That's all it is. You're a failed wannabe version of him. So, I mean, I mean, they do say, like mother, like daughter. I mean, clearly you're the, clearly I forgot. Wait a minute, that's right. I forgot. You're not a Fed Smoker's brother. You're Fed Smoker's sister wife. I mean, we all know that y'all got hooked up and got married. I mean, we all know that that between you and Fed Smoker, man, Fed Smoker's the dude, you're the chick. I forgot. I forgot that you were a chick. My bad. Hey, Fed Smoker, by the way, man, a bit of advice for you. Before you let your little bitch CVG run her mouth, you might want to put a muzzle on her next time. Just saying. Because your little wife, sister, mutt, dog, fucking job of the hut looking pet thingy. 
She ain't nothing but all bite. I'm sorry. She ain't nothing but all bite. Just like you. And maybe that's why y'all are the same, man. I don't know. I mean, last time I checked, I mean, y'all were all bark, man. Y'all ain't got no bite. Y'all ain't, y'all, y'all are in just a lot of bark. But, like that's saying, I mean, we now know who's the boyfriend and the man in the relationship. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the husband brother in the relationship. That's Fed Smoker. And CVG, you ain't nothing but Fed Smoker's sister wife, bitch. Just saying. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm sorry for telling the truth, but that's just how it is, man. Sometimes the truth hurts. Peace. Oh, and uh, on a side note, CVG. I just want to say this. Congrats on getting married to Fed Smoker, bro. I mean, we all knew that you were secretly a chick. I mean, we all knew it. So, to you, I say, congratulations on your new husband, Fed Smoker. Fed Smoker, congratulations on your brand new wife, CBG. Hope y'all have a good life. Hope y'all have, hope y'all don't have kids. Because <laughs> that's the last thing we need. And with that being said, fuck you all. No, I'm just kidding. Congratulations, Fat Smoker, on your new wife. CG, congratulations on your new husband, man. Peace. You know, I was thinking about it here after my live stream a couple hours ago that I did over on Kick. I was thinking about it. I finally figured out why you motherfucking trolls drive every girl that I get with away. It's because you motherfuckers are jealous. You're jealous that the weird guy can actually get somebody that's honest and actually is there. Who actually has a brain and isn't stupid. You know the only reason why half the chicks fucking left me is because of you guys. Half these people that left me that I was with was because of you dumb fucks. That's why. But that's okay. Because you know what's funny? One day the right ones are going to come along. And when they do, you guys ain't going to be able to do shit to stop it. Because what you trolls don't seem to realize is that here in the coming months is going to be beginning your downfall. The troll community is done. The troll community is it's going to be ending soon. And you guys have to accept that. CBG, Marty, William, Metal Gear Rax, Fed Smoker, all you motherfuckers are going to be done. Your world is going to come crumbling down. And you know what I'm going to do when it, with the pieces of your world when it comes crumbling down? You know what I'm going to do with all those pieces? I'm going to rebuild my life back to the way that it was before you guys came in and started fucking it all up. I'm going to take all the pieces of your guys' crumbled down world I'm going to take those pieces, reforge them, reform them, reshape them, and rebuild my life back to the way that I once was. Back when I had an amazing girlfriend. Back when I had a good job doing what I love to do. And I was taking care of my family. I was keeping my nose clean. I was staying on the right track. I mean, if you don't believe me, take a look at your guys' comments in my last few videos. You guys are pissed. You guys are angry. You guys are fucking mad. And you know what? I don't care if you're mad. Because all I see when I look at you trolls 
is nothing more than a pathetic ass, bullshit ass, fucking band of criminals. That's all I see. A bunch of criminals trying to make a name for themselves off the backs of ruining other people's lives. And that's all you guys do. You ruin people's lives. I mean, you damn near ruined my whole ass career. Thankfully, that, that didn't work. I still have something that I can grab onto and rebuild off of. And I will admit, you guys did do a lot of damage to me. You guys did. You guys did quite a bit of damage to me mentally over the years. You guys did physically do damage to me over the years. But you want to know something? There's one thing you guys have not done and that you will never do, and that's break me. You guys have tried countless times to completely wipe me off the face of the earth. Tried to cancel me. Tried to wipe me out like a bad old statue waiting to be torn down. But yet you guys just can't seem to do it. It's so like I told you, you can't beat me. You're never going to win against me. And you know what's sad? What's really sad is you trolls having to resort to what you guys resort to. In order to make money. I mean, I understand. Everybody's got to hustle. Everybody's got to grind. I get it. But going around bullying people ain't the way to fucking do it. Going around and extorting people like you did to me, Marty. Like you did to me, William. Y'all motherfuckers said they're blackmailing people. That ain't the way to do it. You know what's sad, Marty? At one point, there was one point where I thought you were a good dude. There really was. There was one point in particular where I thought you were a good dude. But then you showed your true colors and showed that you're not a good person. You're a piece of shit. You're a psycho. You're a murderer. You're a bully. You're a slob. You're a piece of shit. And Marty, you're just like all the other trolls. A dumb, fat, overweight piece of shit slob on his way to nowhere fast. And speaking on you other trolls, you know what's funny? The fact that you guys think that I'm not going to win over all this shit. Y'all think that I'm not going to come out on top. But the truth is, I am. I am going to come out on top. And when I do, and I plant that flag at the top of that mountain, and I'm standing on top where I should have been this whole time, it's going to be so fucking sweet. And you want to know why? Because when I'm on top of that mountain, and I'm looking down at you motherfuckers that have tore me down, all I'm going to see is a bunch of little baby ant looking motherfuckers trying to climb that same mountain that I'm climbing and just falling back down again. Falling back down again over and over and over. While I'm up here with my gear, sitting up here kicking it, enjoying my life. Living my best life. Being there for those that need me. Being, you know, hopefully one day soon, you know, a good boyfriend and husband to somebody that wants to be with me. Being a good son, being a good brother, being a nephew, being a good friend. See, while you guys sit here and let greed control you, while you guys let greed and anger control you. I let righteousness, justice, 
my heart, caring, kindness, understanding, and doing what's right guide my heart. That's what I feed off of. I feed off of good energy and good vibes and good times. You guys feed off of bottom feeding scum ass garbage. Because that's all you trolls are. Every one of you guys is garbage. Every last one of you is trash. There's nothing funny about bullying somebody. There's nothing funny about extorting someone. There's nothing funny about blackmailing someone. There's nothing funny about assaulting or trying to murder someone. There's nothing funny about that. If anything, it's disgusting. And trust me when I say, when YouTube finds out about what you guys have done, fuck that. When the police and the feds and the higher ups above the feds find out what you've done, you guys are going to be in a world hurt, because believe me, here soon, here soon, they will know. And when they do, it's going to be game over for you. Because people like you guys have no place on here. People that bully others, that extort others, that harass, attack, blackmail, slander, physically attack, try to murder, and have selfish need and greed going through their head. People like that don't have a place on this platform. I mean, it's funny, you guys sit there and say that I belong behind bars, right? In actuality, you fucking trolls are the ones that belong behind bars, not me. I mean, look at you, Marty. You're what, almost 40? And you're still acting like a fucking kid. And CVG, like I told you, dumb fuck, you ain't untouchable. No one's untouchable. You think that being touched like means physically going up and touching you, right? Wrong. Like I said, my boy Sneaky Jim and his team, they're coming after you guys. And when they do, you guys had better be ready. Because what you guys are doing is wrong. And it's fucked up. Because trust me when I say. When my boy Sneaky Jim comes after you guys. And your guys' whole world comes crumbling down. You guys ain't going to have no one to blame. But your fucking selves. I mean you got somebody like me who. Is over here doing artwork. Doing music. Doing game development. Was doing streaming. Was minding my own business and making money. Doing my, you know, my job. My actual job that I had. Unlike you guys. Not that you guys don't know what work is. Because half you motherfuckers don't even work. You're lazy as fuck. Hell, I'm honestly surprised that half you motherfuckers made it past goddamn kindergarten. To be honest with you. But while I was over here working my ass off, what did you guys decide to do? Take me out because y'all thought I was an easy target? And you're right, at first I may have been an easy target at first. But not no more. Because see, the battle that's going on right now between me and all you trolls, and all you bullies, and all you criminal scum, you know what this battle is? 
It's like me being a Spartan, being a Spartan warrior, and you guys being the Persian people that got slaughtered. This is like Sparta versus Persians. You ain't winning against me. At all. This is like me being a U.S. Marine and you dumb motherfuckers being the damn Taliban. You ain't winning. Because, yeah, sure, you guys may have your weapons or whatever. But you ain't got shit on me, I'll tell you that right now. Because every move I've been making since yesterday has been carefully calculated and planned accordingly and appropriately to each and every situation. So like I said, you don't fuck Persian pussies are fucking with a Spartan. And if I were you, <laughs> I'd turn tail and run before you guys catch a spear to the dome. I'm just saying. You guys have no chance against my Spartan team and me. None. I'd start running. Alright, this video is picking back up off the last video. Now, you know what's sad about you, Marty? You claim to be the king of Akron. But we all know nothing you ever done has been done out of the kindness and the goodness of your heart. Everything's been about greed with you. Every single thing you've ever done has been about greed. You know, when, when all this started, when all this started, I didn't know what to make of it, but now I do. Now, let me tell you something. When my best friend and little brother Zach was shot and killed. And I promised his family, who is family to me, when I promised his family that I would continue on his legacy and uphold the lessons that he taught me and the things that he left behind for me to carry on and for his family to carry on, when I made that promise to Zach when he was killed, when I made that promise to carry on his legacy, I meant it. When I made a vow to carry on my older brother Bill's legacy when he passed, I meant it. When Paul Walker passed away, the man responsible for car culture in general, one of the most important people in the car culture community, when he died, I made a vow to continue on his legacy. And I've done all those things. I've carried on their legacies. Why do you think I rocked the number 23 on all my fucking cars? Why do you think I rocked all of Paul Walker's cars through the Forza series? It's one thing that you need to understand, Marty. And what you trolls need to realize is this. When it comes down to racing, it don't matter whether it's in real life or on a sim rig. Racing is racing. You guys do it to try to, you know, be greedy scumbags. I do it to carry on a legacy. I do it because it's what I'm passionate about. I do it because it's what I love. Racing's in my blood.
Oh, I... My older brother got me into that culture. My older brother introduced me into that life. And I'm proud that he did. Because some of my best friends and some of them are some of the most amazing teammates I could ever have in the world. Were introduced to me through the car culture. Through games like Need for Speed, Forza. And all these other titles. And I'll tell you right now, I have some of the best teammates in the fucking world. I couldn't ask for a better team. I couldn't ask for better friends than Devin and my boy Sonder or any of our fucking team members. I couldn't ask for a, a better group of brothers or friends, period. Straight up. But not that you would know what that's like, Marty. I mean, every time you go against me, you lose. Every time you go against me in a race, you lose. And all you tried to do when you did that shit, you weren't trying to do it to be a good sport. You were trying to do it to prove that you were a king of Akron. But really, you don't have the traits of a king. The traits of a true king is not something you possess. Because a true king, a true man, doesn't go around bullying people, harassing people, attacking people. Slandering people. Assaulting people. Trying to kill people. Murdering three innocent women. A real man doesn't do that. A real man does what he can to take care of his family. Utilizing whatever he has around him. And that's exactly what I've done. Until you ripped it away from me. And that's the difference between me and you, Marty. I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to make a living for my family. And to get my career back and to fight for my loved ones. But you? You just want to sit on your ass and watch time fly. You don't care about anyone. All you care about is money. Because you're a greedy, fat, old piece of shit. That's all you are. You're an internet bully who's greedy. Who gets his cheap kicks and laughs off of bullying people and extorting and blackmailing motherfuckers. Let me tell you right now, fat ass. All that shit is going to come to a head here real soon. And it's going to stop. So Marty, my advice to you. Stand down. Stand aside. Or me and my team. Comprised the sneaky Jim. And all his boys. Aren't just going to run right over you. Take your pick. Honestly, if I were you, I'd run. I really would. I would run. Because these guys, there's a no fucking around, motherfuckers. There's a no fucking around, people. And they've made it very clear that they will stop at nothing to put an end to what you guys are doing to people. And they have my support. Anything they need, I will do for them. I would do for them just like they would do for me. What they would do for me is the same shit that I would do for them. That I would do for my boy Devin. That I would do for my boy Sondra or any of my friends and family. Any of my friends and family. The same shit I would do for my friends and family is the same thing that I would do 
for them. Whatever they need, I got their back. Because unlike you, Marty, and all you other trolls out there, these people have showed me something that none of you ever had. Which is kindness, compassion, understanding. A sense of what's right and wrong. So do yourself a favor, Marty. And fuck off. Because like I said, My team's coming. And we're gonna stop all you motherfuckers from doing this to anyone else ever again. So be warned. It's game on. This is bitch. This this is one and only Cyrax. Bitch. Fuck you, bitch.